Hi guys, it's Joy. So, how do you know that you're undercarbed? Because you get to a place with food, smells in the air, and they all sound smell good. So that's why. So that's why this is on hand. I'm about to eat this papaya because, first of all, they're the best fruit in, on the planet, in my opinion. And second of all, uh, there's some really good smelling things out here, and it's only smelling good because I'm hungry. Just brought in all this stuff from my RV, and it's all just accumulated. There's more stuff that I need. So... <laughs> What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, the plan today is to go through and get rid of a bunch of this stuff, give it to Goodwill, um, just realize even in a small space we can accumulate so, so much, or I can accumulate so much. And, uh, you know, so much of this stuff was with me when I got into the RV. I just haven't needed it. I've been living outside of the RV for a couple weeks now and you know all these movies and uh, I mean my suitcase I do need but there's just so much here I can get rid of. So I think change in the midst of um, stagnation whether it's in a small space or not is always very beneficial. Working through one pile at a time. Dwindling it down in the sea of stuff. <laughs> I've made progress. That original pile has dwindled down to this and I now have a big Goodwill pile and a few more paper things to deal with but overall I have dwindled it down to the must-haves. I think this is such a great practice that for me at least to take everything out, go through everything and then put it back in uh, it's so easy to collect things and I really hadn't gone through a lot since when I first moved into my RV. So it's kind of interesting being in a small space and yet collecting <laughs> or still having stuff.